Ready? Oh, that soil. Oh, the smoke. That heat. Butlers make no heat, right, Brady? None. None at all. Look at that already. in there. You can, you can see it. Got to reposition that van a little bit in here. Right like where the dead, the dead grass is at. Yeah, we'll try to avoid the dead grass factor here. Oh my goodness. You've got that out of there in just this room already. Yep. You just started like two, three minutes ago. Yeah. Wow. Yep, she's juicy. Oh yeah. Keeps on giving. So what they're gonna do is try to make it through this round one more time. Oh yeah. Just not as much in here. Just some good spot spills. They also put down some carpet fresh, which I'm surprised we're not seeing more of that in there to plug up the vacuum. What do you think, Brady? We need to get a bag out of my back. Yep, okay. Continuing. Yeah. Don't breathe any, don't breathe We have another room. Some of these stains are not coming out. There's no way. Did you fill up? Yeah, I got a like Let's that. see here. Next. Ship. Oh, yeah. Joyful. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> Big German Shepherd, big white All right, yeah. well. Yeah. Okay, so what this is is a moisture detector and urine salts never dry. So urine is humid out, it's wet out, goes right to the urine salt. So when you're probing, you can still then find the urine, not just with a black light, even a black light. After you've cleaned urine spots, they can still show under a black light. That's why we probe, because you could have some urine stains from before, it's already cleaned, it's not going to go beep, 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 maybe that time, but it'll show up and the person gets a black light, and then they're upset because there's still stains under black light. They don't always go away. So just letting you know, that's what we're doing here, the test. We're going to now start treating with the P. Limezyme or P. Zyme eucalyptus mint. One of those two will do it, it's a bacteria enzyme, so we'll show you how we get it done. <laughs> just a non-stop wind tunnel. Now you can see the white powder there though. Now those of you that think that carpet powdered products for odor control are good, you're wrong. They are really difficult to get out of the carpet, they stay moist. And then you run into, when we steam clean it, it can just be this white film mess after. So not a good idea. So don't use those. Okay? Okay. Okay Brady? Yeah. Okay. Okay Brady? Okay. <laughs> Brady and I in the last video had a session of back and forth, I found out, so. Well, we just, you, oh yeah, it's in the last one, you'll see it. Uh, it's one of the carpet jobs, so we had to do it in 19 minutes. Oh, that one. Oh, that one. That one. So anyway. Did we do it in 19 minutes? We did it in under 19, 18 minutes, five seconds, and I don't remember how many tenths of seconds. It was insane. Yeah, we made it. That's what happened. That's right. Yeah, well, I was wanding for half of it. You know, I had to set the pace. Yeah, well, yeah. Sure, <laughs> how it's done. That's right. Yes, we vacuumed in the closets, too. Right, Brady? Vacuum them all. That's Everything. right. Everything. Which product are we using today? Uh, what you do we got? P-Lime or do we got? P-Zyme. P-Zyme? I don't know. P-Lime? I think it's P-Zyme. 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 All right, I'm going to go show them what they need to do with the van to use it in a hydroforce. Okay, I already did it, but go okay, for it. Okay, I'll show them. <laughs> All right, welcome to my butler. So anyway, what you want to do to use one of our Zyme products is you're going to turn the heat down. On a butler, that's where you do it, about halfway to 120 to 160. You don't want to cook or bake the enzyme, bacteria enzyme. You also, so it was shut off there, uh, you want to shut off the chemical injection. In line straight is running, crossways is shutting off the chemical injection. We do that, 
and with warm water we apply it with the yellow tip out of our Hydroforce or inline sprayer. Okay, so we are going to run our Pizyme in a container. We have the yellow tip out underneath the Dima valve in here. We take that apart, boom, pop that out. If you were to just use the Pizyme with some warm water and an electric sprayer, such as this multi-sprayer or a pump-up sprayer, let's say you would take one cup of this product with four cups of warm, not hot, warm water, put it in there, get it working, saturate it down like we're gonna do with the inline sprayer. So that gives you options on how to use the product. Again, you want the yellow metering tip out of here when you use it. So let me show you where the yellow tip would be. The yellow tip is hiding underneath there. You pull this off. Let me do that too and be right with you. Well, the yellow tip would be right there and it's unscrewed. So I got that out of there. So when you pull off that hose, this is what's underneath there. There's a yellow tip in there. Mine is gone. You just unscrew it. You can't miss it when you take that apart. See that tube just pulls off. Sometimes it has a clamp on it. Uh-huh. Did you find the dog? Might have been missing. He wasn't in there. Okay. So there it is, just vacuumed up. That's what we got. Of course, the other room next door, too. We're going to start applying P Zyme eucalyptus mint down here, bacteria enzyme. We do have a P lime if you like, like the it. lime flavor, too. Might have to check my PSI. It might be up high. I can't remember my last job. Yeah. Keep it right at 600 ish. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go a little heavier on the application, but also on the extraction with the Conway wand. I can do that pretty well. It extracts really well. Oh, that's. Yep, it's going to take some effort. Aaron had to just go run and take care of a client really quick in the neighborhood. We're kind of up north. Hey, pressure's down a little bit now. We're applying it heavy here. You don't hold back. You want to try to get this product to the urine and to the problem situation. Leave that bacteria enzyme in there to keep working and nibbling and working on the uh, product left behind by the animals and the odor. You just have to saturate it. So right now we're just adding it into the inline sprayer. So this is going to go in there and siphon and pull out again. Yellow tip is out of this one too. You can see I had that one zip tied down. So in just a few minutes of applying what I've done, you can already see a pretty sizable difference. The enzyme, bacteria enzymes, already going out to start eating and digesting the products that are left behind by the animal. Aminol, I couldn't even say that, Brady. Aminol. I've been up since four this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, we should have just called and went out for breakfast. <laughs> you can see so, how some of the spots just start disappearing on contact too. It's not a, it, this is not a peroxide. As a matter of fact, a peroxide would kill this bacteria. So this is a bacteria enzyme. The enzyme we have in code red is totally different. So lack of a better term, it's a synthetic, let's say, and that, that's why we can use a, that peroxide, so to speak, together with that enzyme. This enzyme, no, it'll kill it. Ooh. <laughs> Tripping my cameraman. Well, we'll get this down and give her the 30 minute dwell time and be with you. All right. Mark's got a little bit more spraying to do in that front room. So I'm going to run our CRB on this one and the two bedrooms right over here and see if we can clean them up a little bit more before we start cleaning. we decided to use the CRB since we've got 30 minutes of nothing to do to agitate in the design, get it going into the fibers more, pushing it down a little bit more towards the pad. And it is pulling up a bunch of dog here again too, isn't it? It's pulling. Wow. As you can see though, before we've even agitated or anything, it's soil as you can see, but it's looking remarkably better already.
you don't want to CRV the uh, cold red into or no? Nope, I don't think we need to. rooms over there down in this room right in here see those stains are gonna be still notorious last of the CRB -ing. all right as soon as we're done with this we're gonna apply code red what in tarnation more sticky that's oh my gosh yeah well anyway we'll just apply code red on top of this not agitate and see if it'll give us a little extra boost. But again, after 30 minutes of the well time. All right, so now we're done applying all of the Pzyme, turning the heat back up to full, and I'm turning the chemical injection back on. So now I can continue with cleaning. So what I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna mix up a little bit of code red that I'm gonna apply over top of that after the 30 minute dwell time. Did you get that? After the 30 minute dwell time, okay? Sager video phone call. Let's see what we got. Aaron. Hey. Hey there. Should I just go start that other Jason? Go ahead. So um, that's all the hair and stuff that we'll get out of there. And watch when I turn these things backwards. Hey. Oh, there's it's full. Yeah, she's packed. Go ahead. Ah. Uh. So we want to clean these out after every job. There's some more. Oh, look at that. Somebody missing a dog? We got it. We found it. Look at that. Okay, now also along these edges here. Whoop. Yep. They didn't do it that wrong. Yep. <laughs> I was just going to ice pop them off. He's going to clean that up the rest of the way. Clean those. Get underneath this. It'll do the same on the other side. It'll get all cleaned up. Yummy. So this is some fresh code red. Yes, the oxy is live. Yes, it can kill off bacteria enzyme but it won't kill it all off because there's 1.5 billion with a b billion enzymatic material per ounce see how helpful i am and within the last 20 30 minutes it's doubled at least if not even tripled in the bacteria count should clean up really yeah. nice it's just so helpful today i just can't can't get over myself dude People wonder how we do this. There it is. You push, oh. pull that in. So you pull in that. Click, push. Turn on the valve. So you get the flow going. So when you want to release this too, by the way, since I'm here, you got to shut it off. Release the pressure. Unclip. So again, here I go. Clip. On. Cuff goes right over the top of the hose and right over the wand and away we go. Of course, where the bed's been sitting, it's gonna look really spectacular. <laughs> That's not gonna budge, I can tell you already. There's a lot of stains in here that are just not gonna come out, not even worth trying to get out these steam iron that's been monkeyed with too much. So when that happens, you're wasting your time, sorry. Look at that, uh, just already though, we haven't even cleaned there. That's uh, doing pretty good. 
So let's uh, get a little clean in here. Again, another red spot is the monkey with way too much, you can tell. And I'm surprised this orange stain has come out this well. Because that too is going to be permanent. I'm worried about just getting it respectful at this time. And now this spot and stain right here that I'm on top of this brownish one, this one can probably come out. That we'll just spray on our Harvard chemical just like magic, pretty much walk away. That'll just oxidize it out, take it out the rest of the way. Another nice one. Yeah. Yeah, see it starts to get more yellow in color too. That one will still treat with just like magic, but I'm not sure if it'll come out, but all that orangish color there, that's gonna be permanent. So who knows what that's from, having been a rental, you just never know sometimes. Look at that already. Already better. It's a lot of wear on it, but also much improved. More gum. Oh yeah. There she goes though. I have to work on a little more. Gone now. You notice I spat up a little bit in the corner here. There's nothing of major concern there, so I can go a little faster on the cleanup. Okay, see this spot right here? Hopefully the lighting is good, they can see it well. But you see what's lighter in here, lighter, orange circle on the outside? That's because whatever product they use is bleached out the carpet. So these other spots here have had the same product on it, and that's gonna set those stains. That's already way better. Get this, work on that spot stain a little bit. Again, that's gonna be another just like magic spot. That one, I have a feeling, in a day, should go away. Spray it, walk away, pretty much. That one did all right, that lightened up quite yeah. a bit. This is the whole carpet's been bleached on, I can see it. See all up in this upper corner here? Oh yeah. So they used something on it, trying to treat something, took the color out. I'm back. Get all this done. All the trim and work is done. And things go faster. You have to admit, <laughs> compared to where we started, this thing is incredibly better. Now I'm going to have a Another chunk of gum there too, wouldn't you know? All right, let's see what he's doing. This is rust off. A little bit of rust, rust out. out. Rust out. Okay, I'm gonna scrape it there with the end of that wooden spatula brush. And if this is rust, it should take that. A lot of times I've noticed that. Yeah, it'll get orangish. Yeah, I start to foam, you see that. Yep. You start to see that orange color in there. Pretty good. Yep. All right. I like it. You're a keeper. <laughs> wow. 
pluck it in that head. Yeah. That's kind of hard to tell on the camera. Oh, she's in there. But you, can, you can see it. Yep. I'm going to flush this area pretty good. Now underneath of where the furniture was, you can feel the difference and there's a lot more material present. Yeah, it's a huge difference. Big time. A little furniture wear mark right here you'll see in the right lighting. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah. She'll be there permanent now. Look at that. Wow, that's dirty. Huh, some type of metal there. You find it? Staple, yeah. It's right there. Hey! On a nice I staple. Your video and a phone call. And Mark's getting a call. Would you like me to take over? Nope, that's okay. Okay. And another phone call in a Mark Sager video. Dude, it's nonstop. Yeah. Mr. Popular. And another one trying to piggyback in on that. Wow. Everyone all of a sudden. Yeah. So these dry passes, I'm removing more moisture and I'm removing some more soil. Man. Another one? Holy criminy. Wow. Stop it! Stop! Stop! <laughs> That's got to be a record. Most phone calls in his video. The reason I'm going over this is because of this sight glass on here, I can see a little more soil issue. So, will you get it perfect? No, absolutely not. There's not a chance. It's been let gone too far and you just can't. So there's a point where it's appearance now. How well did you get it? And you have to move on. Look at this. Take a side view of it. Oh, there you go. That's I'm having way you do on. that so I catch my breath. <laughs> <laughs> big yeah. difference. Yeah, it is pretty big. Those dust bunnies, uh, we'll just close the door. We didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see any dust bunnies. Didn't see nothing. So compared to a video that we just released, you were seeing where I was slinging the wand at a pretty good pace, like about this. It really was. Well, I could that day or that night because it wasn't as soiled as this. Now, if you watch, I'm slowing it down. Where it's not pooling, like if I just sat there, even this won't pool that much because they're angled to the jet and it's pushing into the jet. But pulling at a rate that it's not pooling up too much, Sheer angle pushing the soils up into those glides, so I can uh, I can get it as clean as possible.
Look at that. See if you can get that in there. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I'm seeing when I'm working the wand back here. Here, I'll go pull some. I'll pull some for you, Mark. Thanks. Man, it is soiled. So if you ever get something that won't go into your glide, lift it up, angle it. You are just pop on it, pop on it. It'll eventually get in there. Man, I'm just going over this like crazy. Let's go right down the middle first so they really can see. Ready? Oh, that soil. Oh, smoke. That heat. Butlers make no heat, right, Brady? None. None at all. I always love that online. We got Everyone. a built-in fog machine on our lawn. <laughs> That's right. I always say they don't make any heat. I laugh about that. The high heat units smoke it, dude. Yeah, she's putting it down. Yes, it is. Okay, that's going to be a wear path. No doubt about it. She's dirty. Once you know I'm trying to one hand this Conway put that suction on her. You're not gonna get rid of the wear. There's, I mean, it's just even a hole kind of there. Even falls off. Mark's getting his sweat on. Sweating. All right, I already did up against the wall. This is done right here, right? Or nope, no? I got just okay. one little path to go there. I was like, uh, I'm not sure if it's just me <laughs> or... <laughs> the camera will see it, won't it? Yeah. I know, you can't see it with the naked eye. That camera picks it up. Pretty good lens. <laughs> oh yeah. Much better? Yeah.
I just keep flushing it, dude. Yeah. Well, and we put a decent amount of product on it too. What's that? So then we put a decent amount of product down yeah. on it, so. Yeah. Good flush never hurt. All right, well, we have, uh, have some grooming to do. One more bedroom to go. Yep, we groom. Trying to make it look more like it was when it came from the factory to be installed. Minus the wear. And maybe a couple stains. <laughs> Otherwise, it's exactly like the factory, right Brady? Yeah, if I could fix a wear, yeah. I'd be worth millions. All right, well let me get you out of the way and I'll go finish that room. All right. So before we got here, and drug out about five, six canisters. They were working on it. it Look like Superman standing there. <laughs> Get out of that light and that weird Dude, light. Dude, that's incredible. You gotta see this. Mm. Look at that. All right, that's just plain impressive. Compared to what we were cleaning and started with, oh yeah. Yeah. Some wear, but I'm telling you, didn't expect that at all. Harry. So if you've not seen this, this is an electric hose reel, high pressure reel from Butler. Just push that little button right there and just guide your hose in. Look at that thing. Rather than being Want to see that again, don't they? I know they do. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But see, I'm just pushing the button and then I got to manipulate this. Now here's something if, I'm going to have a spot here if it gets off a little bit because I like my hose rolled up pretty darn neat and nice. Just ask Thomas Poe. <laughs> so I like to have it pretty well in line, but if for some reason it gets out of line and it won't go forward, you have to just give a little push back and a push down. But, you know, I was going to say I have mad skills and then it's going to come back to bite me. But this is way nicer than the... Okay, you've seen enough of that. Model T, crank up, go. And I have 200 feet of hose on this reel because that's what we like, 200 feet. And I know it's there. There it is. See that? Yeah. The Butler electric high pressure reel. Get yourself one. Yeah, you should. It's really nice. Bye bye, Fifi. Fifi, la pew. There, got to be all upstairs. Great set of stairs. Perfect. Is she dirty? Did you have to treat it? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's gonna have to do these stairs too. Yeah, I got to That's what I'm on now. All right. One pass. Knocked on open. Oh my goodness. Brute force. Well, everybody, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, if you'd consider maybe even giving a comment, a thumbs up, like, and uh, consider subscribing because we really enjoy having you here. And if you stumbled onto our channel, we have a lot of good eating videos here. You can go check out some of those other ones up there. And it's pretty fun, gotta admit. We like cleaning the dirty, mm -hmm. good eating stuff. So like to see you again, like I said. So thanks again for being here. See you in the next one, I hope. Bye, everybody.
Let's go, Luna. Oh no! Oh no! It's a battle. Come on, go. Well, now you're gonna look at me. Come on, go get her. Oh, gee. Can barely keep up, you two. Why are you going? <laughs> Hi. How were you? Are you all tired? Huh? Oh, that was a little psycho. That's what that was. You played little psycho. <laughs> you guys, be careful. <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> All right, ready to go in the house? Nope, not yet. Tug of war. <laughs> Drag the dog. All right, girls, let's go in the house. Come on, girls. Come on, let's go.